I'm Mike Quinn, I've been an entomologist for 20 years, and we're here at the Lady Bird Johnson Wallflower Center in Austin, Texas, talking about the praying mantis life cycle. The, um, one of the more uh, well-known aspects, uh, which is true, is that the female can, uh, on occasion, she'll eat the male when they meet, mate, or typically after they mate. And um, that happens typically when the female is undernourished, and so the male uh, provides food for the female, and so um, helps um, provide food for the uh, developing egg case, which is called an eothica and uh, she'll lay uh, uh, one or more of these egg masses that comes out as a kind of foam and then it hardens up and then um, later a uh, hundred or more um, uh, small uh, praying mantises come out of that and they, um, if they don't have enough food they will actually feed on each other um, but uh, Typically, they spread out in the environment, and um, <clears throat> they help uh, eat other a wide variety of insects. And uh, then they uh, mature and mate and reproduce, and, and that's the praying mantis life cycle.